I've received a flurry of questions regarding 4.6 liter stroker builds from a 4 liter long block. The Tony Hughes interview series prompted a great deal of interest and drove traffic to the website regarding the 4.6 liter stroker build and we've carried on that conversation since. In this inquiry from Eric, the question comes up again about how to build or what type of build would work best for a 4.6 liter stroker from a 4 liter. Eric writes, I currently run a stock non-rebuilt 4 liter engine with 214,000 miles on it and am looking to rebuild this summer to a 4.6 liter. My question first is, which of the two ways of going about it is more economical with high quality parts for longevity? I have a 258 engine to use parts from. I live in Michigan and I'd like to see what options and prices there might be. Eric went on to say that this is going to be a daily driver and he wants longevity out of this engine and the least expensive approach that will work properly. In the Tony Hughes interviews it came down to we have the option with the 258 4.2 liter crankshaft and a 4 liter block of using either the 4 liter connecting rods or the 4.2 liter connecting rods. Since the block deck gets milled you end up surfacing the block deck to match piston height so that's not as much of an issue. You also have to compensate for pushrod length to get the hydraulic lifter height correct in the process of building the long block. But those issues have to do with the cylinder head height and the block deck height. So really it comes down to you have the choice of either connecting rod and you also have the choice of compression ratio. There are pistons available to use the 4 liter rods and position the piston so that it will be in the proper relationship with the use of a 4.2 liter crankshaft or you can use the 4.2 liter connecting rods and a piston that's designed to work in a 4 liter block. If you watch the HD videos and go to the lengthy articles that I've written to the subject at the magazine site you'll find part numbers, references, and so forth. Either approach will work in my view, especially for an engine that's going to spin to 4200 to 4500 RPM peak and that again is my target with the camshaft when I describe the comp cams 252 grind, a very mild cam that will give you a lot of manifold vacuum at low speeds and an idle and give you that quick torque rise that we're looking for for stump pulling, maximum efficiency and realistic cruise speed RPM on the highway. The cost of pistons being the determinant, I use hyper eutectic pistons, I've used Silvalite, Keith Black pistons forever, they work really well, they're cast piston, uh, clearanced properly, and a machine shop that knows what they're doing will match pistons to wall clearances by piston design. That's an excellent piston, and you can get that style piston for both the 4.2 liter connecting rods or the 4 liter in the 4 liter block. The preference for 4.2 liter connecting rods over 4 liter has to do with rod angle and that is a consideration but not necessarily a big item especially on an engine that's not going to spin above 4500 rpm or at absolute peak maybe 5000 rpm on an extremely rare or overdriven occasion. So it really comes down to whatever's practical if you've got a good set of connecting rods or 4.2 liter get the pistons obviously that match the 4.2 liter to the 4 liter block. Similarly, if you're using the original 4 liter rods that come out of a 4 liter engine, make sure you use the correct piston so that the pin locations are proper for putting the piston to the height of the block deck when the piston comes to top dead center. Again, the block gets decked to clearance. The cylinder head is usually milled just as part of the remanufacturing process. In terms of cost, there is very little cost difference in properly building a 4.6 liter engine or a 4 liter stock engine. The steps of a normal rebuild or remanufacturing of a 4 liter engine are exactly the same steps that you're going to take with a 4.6 liter stroker build. Since you already have the 4.2 liter 258 crankshaft and connecting rods, that cost is offset that would be an outsourced core otherwise and would be an additional cost over rebuilding the stock 4 liter engine. Accounting for the fact that you have the 258 parts, the only difference would be slight cost variables around the pistons and of course if you go to forge pistons you're going to step up in cost in that area as well. The cylinder head work is just like remanufacturing the head for a 4 liter build unless you're going to run the engine over 5000 RPM. There's no point in doing anything more than a quality rebuild 
of the original 4 liter cylinder head. By the time you're done, depending upon choices that you would make, whether you're building a 4 liter engine or a 4.6 liter engine, the costs will fall into line accordingly. In essence, anybody rebuilding a 4 liter engine would be very wise to consider the 4.6 liter stroker build because there is so little cost differential once you get past outsourcing a 258 or 4.2 liter crankshaft. As a footnote to all of this, we've gone with aftermarket headers, stock exhaust systems, catalytic converters, restrictive exhaust systems that were emission compliant and so on. There doesn't seem to be any huge tuning issue. However, the additional displacement of a 4.6 liter engine will demand higher flow injectors. And the injectors that we've tested, and they do work really well, are the Ford 5 liter V8 24 pound injectors. They're available in rebuilt, new, and aftermarket source. Again, the points of concern would be piston deck height, lifter clearance in terms of valve stem heights, and making sure that the lifters have the correct clearance when you finish the engine build. And in some cases, depending upon which crankshaft you're using from a 258, if the snout is a long snout, as in pulleys for V-belts, and you're using it with a 4 liter block, you either need to get a HESCO adapter washer to bridge that, or if it's a short snout, you definitely need to get the correct crankshaft bolt for the damper to make sure that you have enough thread penetration with the crankshaft bolt and a safe installation of the damper. Eric, you hinted about the cost of building an engine, a 4.6 liter over a 4 liter, and I would say that aside from the crankshaft and the pieces that you have from the 258, you're dealing with the difference of no more than $300 overall. In terms of rebuilding costs in Michigan, where you live, that would be dependent on the machine shop that you select and the extent to which you blueprint the engine during the rebuild. Tony Hughes only does it one way. The engine is blueprinted. Every single clearance and tolerance is accounted for and balancing is part of every rebuild. So Tony's type of rebuild, the Hughes Performance Long Block, would lean toward the higher end cost, not because Tony gouges or anything like that, but because of all of the machining, including the recent 4.6 liter that we tested that had porting and other custom work done to the cylinder head that amounted to hours of additional labor. When asked the question, how much does it cost to build a long block 4.6, again, aside from the 4.2, 258 parts that you have to outsource, the cost is similar to a four liter and could run anywhere from, I'm gonna throw the figure out of $1,800 for parts and labor to $3,500 to $4,000 depending upon what degree of parts and machining you choose for your engine build.